Los Angeles, California, the door. Hey YouTube, Nandor690 here, and I'm coming at you with a uh, brand new video. I'm pretty excited to uh, bring this to you guys. It's going to be uh, how to uh, save your SSH uh, blob with Cydia, and then how to jailbreak the Apple TV 2, then SSH into it via terminal to change your uh, SSH password. Then we're going to install a uh, third party app called uh, Nitto TV through uh, terminal. Then I will be showing you how to SSH using uh, Cyberduck. And what you're going to need, obviously, is uh, your Apple TV 2, uh, your controller. Um, you're going to need a USB cable um, that is a micro USB cable to plug into the back of your Apple TV um, so we can, uh, you know, plug it into our computers. And you're also going to need the uh, Apple TV 4.1 firmware. And, um, I will put uh, links in the description for Cyberduck, Text Wrangler if you want that. Uh, it's a nice app to use to uh, open up files. Um, Pawnage Tool and Umbrella 4.1.6. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is plug our Apple TVs into our computer, which I have already done. And you can see it right here. And your Apple TV is going to show go NA for uh, all these things right here mine does it too apparently they all do it I thought it was a problem but apparently it wasn't um, so what we're gonna do is uh, the first thing you'll do is open up tiny umbrella after you plug in your Apple TV and you're gonna hit this advanced option button right here and the request version is gonna be Apple TV 4.1 if it isn't already there just go here it should be the top one pick that you're going to also request from, and you want to request from Cydia. You have a choice between Apple and Cydia. Make sure it's marked on Cydia. We don't want to request this from Apple, obviously. All right, and for the ECID, which you'll do, you should go to About This Mac, More Info, USB, underneath the Hardware tab, and go right here to Apple Mobile Device, and yours is going to show that it's in recovery mode. That's another thing that it just it just shows up like that. And your ECID is going to be right here. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll copy that and paste it right there. You don't need to add all the zeros before that number. Um, I'm just letting you know because uh, when I go into making this video, I'm going to probably edit out my number. Um, not that I don't know that it's uh, any kind of uh, big deal. Uh, I just will, but just know that you don't have to add all the zeros. So after you add that, um, up here at Connected Device, it doesn't have a device. So all you'll do after that is just click Save My SHSH. It's going to ask City for uh, the request and you'll see here that it has been saved successfully and if you want to view it you can click here to open and it'll open it up and it's a good idea to keep a backup for yourself just in case so now that we're done with tiny umbrella we'll go ahead and quit that and now the next thing we'll do is pawnage tool um, keeping your Apple TV plugged into your computer um, copyrights okay first thing we'll do is uh, expert mode and then you'll choose iPad Apple TV 2G browse for IPSW click next and you'll see that we have the Apple TV 21 underscore 4.1 underscore 8m89 underscore restore dot IPSW. We'll open that. 
then you'll just click on general and then keep hitting the arrow key till you get back to the screen click build hit the arrow key again and we'll save it to the desktop it's going to build the IPSW and it's going to probably ask us for our administrative password here in a couple of seconds there we go add our password Okay, now I'm glad that it did this because I want to show you guys that it is, uh, for me, it is going to, it has and will fail. And what you got to do is just keep on going back through the same steps until it doesn't fail. And usually what I do is I'll try it two times and if it fails twice I'll unplug my Apple TV restart my computer and leave my Apple TV unplugged open back up a uh, pawnage tool and do it again two more times and it seems to work on the second time then while it is still building it after it gets back past a certain point you're gonna realize that it's not gonna fail so you can go ahead and plug your Apple TV back in so you can be ready to put it into DFU mode when it asks. And if it doesn't fail right now, it is actually going to build it. And it looks like it is going to build it, so we lucked out this time. But, um... I didn't want to, I'm, and I'm not going to edit that out of the video, because um, I, I didn't want to, you know, give you guys the impression that Pawnage Tool works the first time every time, because I know for a fact that some of you people watching this video are going to run into that same exact problem. And like I said, all you can do is just try it a couple of times. If that doesn't work, unplug your Apple TV from your computer, restart it, go back into Pawnage Tool and try to rebuild it a couple more times like that and once it gets to this point where it hasn't failed that means it's not gonna fail so you can go ahead and plug your Apple TV back in because in just a few seconds here we're going to need this and what we're going to use this for is we'll follow the instructions right here get ready to press menu and play in five seconds Okay, we're holding menu and play for seven seconds now release the two menu and play buttons and you'll see the Apple TV pop up and we are successfully into DFU mode okay so now that we're in DFU mode we can just go ahead and click out of pawnage tool and right here means that we're on a Mac we're gonna hit option restore Okay, now you're going to see that right here we have our Apple TV 2.1 underscore 4.1 underscore 8M89 underscore custom underscore restore dot IPSW. We will choose that one and you'll get this right here and it's going to say that it's going to erase and restore Apple TV to version 4.0 blah blah blah. Hit restore and you will be updated to 4.1 um, I have found out that you can't really uh, you can't really listen to any of the information that the Apple TV is giving you um, you will be on 4.1 it will be jailbroken when you do this uh, you will not be able to visually tell that your Apple TV is jailbroken and when you plug it into your TV and go underneath uh, general and about it's going to show that your Apple TV is still on version 4.0 but um, I, I've been through all this and I've researched everything and I and I have figured out that uh, it is jailbroken so I'm going to let it do this 
and uh, when it gets done, I'll uh, come back.